Good morning, well, happy Monday, and welcome to the staycation vlog. Rah. I've got a great idea. <laughs> We're off for a little staycation in Stirling, Shire, Stirling? Mm, Scotland. In Scotland. Somewhere down it's, south. It's a beautiful day, it's 10 a.m. and we're away to hit the road. Hit the road, First stop. Food store I've been thinking about it all morning and I thought, I won't mention it, but he might go. And you're gonna go. Just for you, best stop, hour and half after. Same Run out of oat milk this morning, so no co early coffees this morning. So we're going to go grab a coffee and then get going. But yeah, I am looking forward to vlogging this trip and I'm really excited to go and just have some time to switch off, relax. Got my books packed, got my journal packed and... Oh, we should take... Do we have Scrabble, Jack? No, we don't have. Oh, we should have packed Scrabble. I don't think we actually have any board games here. We just picked up the goods. Little oat flat white and Jack went for an Americano. And then very rogue. A little box of roast potatoes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, a, no. it's still the morning, but. Um, so they can need some sort of energy, carbs maybe. Yeah. We've actually Starch. just come off the back of working. What are you saying? 13-hour 30, hour shifts? Four 13-hour shifts on the trot. So um, this little trip has actually come at the best time just to... No, it's actually, yeah, it's actually mad how good. it was just selected on Saturday morning. Good timing. Oh, going away on Monday. It, it was a very last... Yeah, it was a very, very last-minute getaway, but it's come at the perfect time because we just need a little reset relax yeah, uh, and get out of the city, you know? From Aberdeen you'll know exactly. <laughs> if you know, you know. I think the foundry's changed their colour. It has. It's all been painted. It used to be black. Yes, it did. Just to be with nature, be at one with nature, get out the hustle and bustle. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of hustle and bustle here for sure. We actually had a very exciting viewing this morning. We're very torn at the minute between the next five years. Like, we do like to just live day by day. But, but when you do that, it's worrying that you don't have like a bit of a plan. Plan. We also do like to have some kind of plan to stick to. You try and like plan in your late 20s for the next sort of five years. There's big things that are involved in the planning, like house or starting a family. Like there's quite... Yeah, we need to start getting you know, the foundations laid. It can't be, that can't be a day by day kind of thing. Like you don't just want to hit 32 and be like, oh. Yeah. Let's go Maybe travel. You do. Some people do. That's I know. So fine. I know. That's the thing. That's you shouldn't. So you shouldn't fine. have to feel like you'd have to do anything. To be but honest. the worry is that you know you hit the, the those ages, and then like you know say have a baby. Yeah. And then to bring a baby into the world, you kind of need to have these foundations laid. Yeah. So living like a day-to-day -day sporadic lifestyle isn't, yeah. isn't the best place to be bringing up a baby, young, a young one. That's so true. We also have this urge to go and do a world plan. tour. At 30, um, preferably when I'm 30 and not when Jack's 30, because <laughs> yeah, I'll be years. 31. <laughs> um, but again, like business, like running a business, going on a world tour, they don't really go hand in hand. I think if you were a hustle and bustle me businessman, it works perfectly well, yeah. when, you're in, <laughs> when you're working in the business day and day. Yeah, it should actually it make could sense. We'd be taking a massive risk. Yeah, I don't think we would like to just leave it though. Well, it depends. It all depends. Anyway, we're away to commence the journey to Sterling. Oh, Whoa. Ah, see Safely. It's such a beautiful day. I'm happy about this. Yeah, it's fantastic. I'm actually not convinced it is Sterling we're going to. Okay. But I'll get the maps up. That's okay. I'll get the maps up. Okay. Speed soon, buddy. I'm asking a lot here. Where you buckle the curbs and things just aren't worth it, huh? No? No. Are you no getting way. out? Yeah, for sure. Watch your wifey's. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Save the speculation. <laughs> was this the space? Was it that? No, I think this was, was the space. Was it starting too late? No. Hi, guys. Um, probably the worst time to just start vlogging when Jack's trying to squeeze into his space fit for a spot. Not for a mini. <laughs> <laughs> but we have just arrived in Kinross. This wasn't actually part of the plan, but... 
I'm in Texas. <laughs> Texas hold on. Um, yeah, we've just arrived in Kinross. We've got about 25 minutes until we arrive at the little boffy, but we're a little bit early for check-in, so we have decided to come to Kinross for a little coffee, and we're gonna stop at Unorthodox Roasters, which are actually our roasters. Our roasters for the coffee beans at Mount. So the guys are so nice there. Hopefully they're working. And so, may I just get past that camera? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it again. Not me blocking the um. What is it with this place? Something sort of small. You're not gonna park there? No, there's no way I'm getting in there. What about in there? Nah, no way. We've also just been listening to Beyonce's new um country song. It's very catchy, isn't it? Ah, oh, catchy. <laughs> um. Yeah. Anyway, for the cinnamon bun, she said she didn't want. She ate half. <laughs> I've done a treat. A treat. 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 But yeah. Great driving so far, mister. This is a nice little break, this. This is lovely. I hope they're working. Yeah, surely. Maybe Higgins is working. No, she's not. Um, yeah, Maybe. quick little coffee stop at Unorthodox Roasters in Kinross, if ever you're in Kinross. Oh. I'd highly recommend. Can I have some lunch or not? Uh, no, just a coffee, I think. Okay. You. Outside. Why are you smelling like that? Texas, hold them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. It did start to rain as well, which is a bit sad because I was hoping we could take some sunshine with us. These trousers, honestly, Jack found in, what was it, TK Maxx? TK Maxx. They were literally made for his. Um... They look like they've been tailored to my leg. Yeah, they're the perfect Some short leg. legs and a fat ass. <laughs> Baby got back. I have lost a lot you of look so colour smart though. Thanks. <laughs> I've lost a lot of shade. Oh, it's good. Yeah, they do shade look a bit grey, but they're nice though. There. Woohoo! I don't know if you can actually. What do we think? Are the guys going to be in here? Yeah. We have arrived. So we've just arrived at our bothy, and he is called Todd. How cute is that? But I just love the red. That like corrugated iron kind of look. Look how beautiful. I love this, this little um, cowbell. <laughs> um, we've got a uh, fire pit for, I'm hoping tonight, if it's not so windy, we can get some marshmallows and do some schmores. It's so cool inside, let me show you. There is Jack. <laughs> Hello there. Well, hello there, folks. <laughs> um, it's so nice and cosy in here. This is this is our little bothy. We've got a fire that's all prepped and ready to go. So we'll maybe get him on tonight. Do you think? Yeah. yeah. And then upstairs is the bed. It's such a cool layout, and it's just so cosy in here. I mean, literally. Just in the middle of the woods. In the middle of the wilderness. Yeah, wow. It's bright it's really bright, but it's really cozy, do you not think? As like, soon as that door closes, yeah, honestly, it's so warm. It's like the perfect getaway. From like the city. <laughs> the city, yeah, basically. Um so yeah, you come in this door, and then the bed is upstairs, just up on that little bunk bed. Quite similar to our yeah, bunk bed, away from our bunk bed in our flat, actually. The guy that met us was so friendly. He just checked us in, showed us where everything was, and then kind of just said, enjoy. It was, he was a really lovely guy. Very lovely guy. He said this was a mood lamp. I think so, yeah. So that I must think just... that's the kind of thing that turns red at night and late Maybe. In the Maybe. So I'm excited to see what that does. Some binoculars, Jack, for your bird watching. 
<laughs> this is the little kitchen area and it's fully equipped with plates, bowls, glasses. In here there's all the utensils, hairdryer. Wow, perfect. Um, bin recycling, oven, fridge, and then some lovely sourdough from Wild Half, which is actually our baker at the cafe. There's just no getting away. <laughs> it's good stuff. True. And then some local honey, which is so nice in the morning. Toast and kettle. So it's pretty like, um, self-catering. It's better self-catering, yeah. Like fully equipped for a self-catering. We were, we were maybe gonna go and get some food to cook dinner tonight, which we still could actually. Go into a little town or something. See the yeah, local town is. Yeah, there's this farm shop down the north. Is there? Yeah. Nice. And then in here is the bathroom, lovely shower, and all Bruce Field Estate organic um, soaps and hand washes and body wash and shower, shampoo and stuff. That's so cute. I love it. So I'm excited to see what it's like in the morning with the window, just like the sunset. Oh, yeah. Not the sunrise, sorry. You said to get these blinds closed, is that? I know, the blinds are pulled. The blinds are really good. They actually open from top to bottom and the bottom to top. Yeah, they do. So cool. So, so cute. And then you come up here and you've got the double bed. The bed looks so comfy, do you not think? <laughs> I'm actually excited. Yeah. Not to wish my life away, but I'm excited for the lion tomorrow. And then this cute little window that just looks out into the woodlands. Oh, it's so fab. Perfect little getaway. Perfect. Um, so yeah, the plan is for us to go and find what's nearby. Um, maybe source down some dinner and yeah, to see what's going on. We have actually packed our walking stuff to go for a nice walk tomorrow. So maybe get up early. <laughs> no, we won't get up early. <laughs> I think it's about half two. Okay. Yeah, it's quarter to three. So, should we go do some exploring? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? yeah. Me and Jack, whenever we go anywhere, like within. We're ready to move our whole life through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> within like 10 minutes of going anywhere, we're just ready to um, move and start a new life. I think Alex can get back to the car. Okay, yeah, no, I'll help you. But yeah, welcome to our little staycation. You can go on a wildlife and history tour when you're here, which is really fun. And then there's this little folder full of, um, some of these things sound incredible. So you can get a picnic hamper with some cheese, chutneys, cinnamon buns that you can eat on your decking. Or this one actually sounds incredible, the fire pit experience. Seven red ribbon hanging birch discs that you personalize leading your way to a picnic in the fire pit with logs and a blanket. Like how cute is that? <laughs> um, yeah, that's the picnic hamper. And some activities, bikes. You can um, hire trek bikes, which would just be really fun. And then it gives you an option of dining in and dining out, which is fab. So these are things that you can order in advance. It's a little afternoon tea hamper. We're actually gonna head to um, the dining out one. We're gonna head to the farm shop. Alan, is that like? <laughs> farm shop. And then we're gonna go to the forager to see um, what that's all about. That's like just recently been on the Michelin Guide. So we'll maybe try and go there for a little drink and then we'll come back and cook bits that we got from the farm shop. But yeah, you can order, I think it's 48 hours in advance, um, some dining in options. And then you've got like fish and chips, a little patisserie, afternoon tea for dining out. And then that's just some more guest information. Wow, well, they've got taxis. Get a taxi home from the pub. <laughs> but all the information is in there. And then you've got a map of um, the estate and some tours and things you can do. What do we think? Should we head to the farm shop? So nice this. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So fresh. It is. 
I know. I know. <laughs> Let's go to the farm shop. We've arrived at the Celine. Celine shop. To the Celine. To the Celine. We're gonna go get some bits for dinner and see what it's see what's going on. Let's go. I always get notifications from Ramsden's holidays saying it's time to book your next holiday. <laughs> Let's do it. Celine farm shop. Got the goods. We've got the goods. <laughs> so, actually, not. It was quite reasonably priced as well. I thought. Very good. Ten quid for the pie. Yeah. So we ended up getting a pie. Buying chaps. I'll put it on my lap, hun. Oh, I. Hi. What your sponge dinner for week? Dinner for one. Thank you. From Sally. Not the Garney. Not the Garney. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do a little food haul for anyone that cares. Molden sea, uh, sea salt smoked. That's actually Jack's favourite salt. Molden salt. And then we got some. Smoke. Some spuds. What's the plan with the spuds? Mash? I don't know, I've got a few options there. Roasties? Probably not mash, but okay. either roasties Pie or mash, just, though. Just, maybe just boiled potatoes. Too stodgy? A bit stodged on. Okay, probably go for the roasty option then. We've got some red onion gravy. we got some salt and vinegar crisps for a little after dinner snack, maybe. Cheers, Mum. Cheers, Mum. A lot of money. We've got Cheers, some Odyssey mate. hummus, if you know about this. Brand, you know what's good. Yeah, probably if you shop at Sainsbury's. <laughs> we literally need a mortgage to pay for it. Um, and then we ended up just getting a little, I mean, there's nothing little about it, but a steak pie. Um, so we're gonna go steak pie, potatoes, broccoli, gravy, and we've got some eggs and milk for the morning. Perfect. See you both. What more could you want? What more could you want? Dine in, shop local. Nice little farm. Little Come to table. Little farm dinner. In a nice little box. Yeah. Right. And we'll get the good out of that box, given our current life circumstances. <laughs> we live out of boxes at the minute. Right, next up on the stop is Forager. Which is a Michelin guide pub. Just been added to the Michelin guide, yeah. Eight minutes away. Perfect. Let me plug you in. Everything today has just been so seamless. seamless. Like we had half an hour to spare. So we just showed up at an Orthodox. Nipped an Orthodox lunch. We arrived on time. We got checked in. Got the dinner. We're off for a little afternoon pint. Pint. Because food always tastes better after you've had a few. <laughs> so, and then we'll go home and cook up a store. Perfect. 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 The freaking love staycations. <laughs> There's something about a farm shop as well, it's just so class. Oh. There we are. I wish we could do a staycation every week. Day off. Yeah. <laughs> just work our way round Scotland. Scotland, yeah. There's actually some stunning Whoa. places to stay in Scotland. Like so nice. Really nice yeah. I had an idea to make a book. Kind of like a. or a magazine. I suppose I could do it online. Um, with like all recommendations of staycations and walks and restaurants and things like that. It could be so class. Yeah, because there's nothing better than going somewhere and then just really want to recommend it to other people. You should never gatekeep. You should never gatekeep on something good. Splash. Oh, I can see something nice. <laughs> um, it's a bit like uh, Hidden Scotland. A bit like Hidden Scotland, yeah. There is kind of already a book because they're very similar. Oh, look at the ostrich. Is he in that pen? Or an emu? Oh. Look, they're all there! Sorry. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. With the sheep. Wow. What do you think that was? An emu or an ostrich? Yeah, maybe an emu. <laughs> oh, wow. It's an emu. I can imagine you being scared of emus. Oh, I can't think of anything. Yeah. A six foot bird coming towards me. 
little laugh when an emu was biting out. Remember you've seen the video? Oh, yeah. The emu's like, and my grandpa's like, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that is sweet. Man. That is so sweet. <laughs> okay. That is sweet. We are be crying. <laughs> which was a really nice pub. Mm, these blinds I'm not quite... Okay, I'll leave it. We're back from the Forager. It was a lovely pub. We had just some little starters to share before we came home to make our dinner. We also went to um, the co-op and got some chalky and some digestives and marshmallows. I don't actually like marshmallows, do you? Not just like... As is. Yeah. I think it's also some tongs. Oh, I didn't. Big tongs. Big yeah, tongs. in there, yeah. Pokers. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, and we're gonna maybe make some smalls after dinner, but we might be quite full, so moving on. I also just secured the goods. I've got some oat milk, so we'll put that in there. And maybe we'll open some chippies. Oh no, we did get coffee. Did we get coffee in, hun? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is seven pounds in the supermarket. Like, <laughs> seven pounds is just so crazy. That's like a bag of beans. Whole beans. I read, I, yeah. Artisan whole coffee beans. It's the same price as the zero ground. Anyway, it was on offer for £3.50, so. You want to make some dinner? Uh, we'll let you know how the pie is. A little steak pie from the farm shop. Well guys, the chef has been chefing and he has whipped up a little steak pie, roasted potatoes, broccoli gravy, we've got the fire on. We're just gonna have a little glass of wine and a steak pie. And we're calling it a night. Delicious. But today's been so fun. So fun. And then it just... Can't recommend this place enough. I know. So, so nice. Such a nice little bar. Nice little village called Dollar. Good morning, guys. We're checking out this morning. Checking out of little Todd. Don't know if I actually said that yesterday, but that's his name. Little Todd. Or is it Toad? No, I think it's Todd. But we had the best night's sleep last night. Wow. Woke up to the sound of rain and Jack made eggs on toast for Brecky. And we had Brecky in bed, which isn't actually allowed in our house. <laughs> that was a lovely little a lovely little treat this morning. But we actually Yes. We got a extended checkout time, so and the lady extended it to 12, which is incredible. So we had an extra long lie. I did a bit of reading this morning and then we shamefully did do a little bit of work and caught up on some emails. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head off now to Dunkeld and go to the Aran Bakery. And if you're from Scotland or you know of Dunkeld, the Aran Bakery is honestly the best bakery it's quite a big claim, but the best bakery I've been to. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to going there and then we're gonna go for a little walk. But this stay has just been incredible. It's just been so perfect. Came at the right time and yeah, it's just amazing to just come, just enjoy the little things. <laughs> 